After defeating Jasmine, we head toward the Eastern Tundra, where we are jumped by Kanto's Sabrina. Ahead lies Crevice Cave, a brand new area to garbage gold. In Crevice Cave, we see a maniac frozen in place. This area is full of ice puzzles. But luckily, the first one isn't too difficult. We are then faced with a shiny second cryogonal, which can earth power both our rock and steel types. After cryogonal comes two ice puzzles. These can be confusing at first, but once you narrow down possible moves, it isn't too bad. Forging ahead, we run into our second wild Pokemon, the Bear Tech. We defeat him, and he turns back into his happy teddy bear self. Of course, what would be an ice cave without another ice puzzle? And another. We then encounter a second Mimiswine, but make short work of it. Lastly, we encounter Frostlass, the beast behind this frozen cave. It seems like Frostlass takes great pride in capturing unsuspecting, wandering humans and Pokemon alike. After defeating Frostlass, Scizor is able to escape his icy cage, and explains all he's seen. Scissor tells us that many years ago, the Frostlass turned rogue and froze him in the cave on his travels. In his attempt to flee from the draft against Kanto, Frostlass went crazy and captured him. Although Scissor doesn't know why this happened or why the war started, it's obvious now that the sickness is intentionally targeted towards strong Pokemon. Seems like a nefarious attempt to, by someone to take control. Upon leaving the cave, Gruval meets up with us. After understanding the water float business has been taken care of, he seems concerned about her sleepwalking and nightmare. He seems to have an idea of the cause, but doesn't tell us anything further. He does mention that Team Rocket is an anarchist group that is seeking to take control of post-war Johto. Perhaps they have something to do with it. Find out more in the next episode.